I am so sorry guys. <laughs> I am so sorry. I was doing the video on Sunday. Well, Saturday, Sunday, why not? The uh, update on what Mr. Photonic Induction sent me. Mm. Wow. It's need to know time. Uh, obviously, I've got the Variac powered up. You can probably hear that contact upon me in the background quite nicely. So, obviously, I've already had a look. I haven't powered these up yet. It's a bit of a dodgy socket there, but that's what's needed. Right, here we go. But you can see my uh, quick I wanted to get that open and then I realised it's damn fragile. So let's move that box from here. Oh, I think we should, shouldn't we? We should have a look at this. It's nice. Oh, wow. Now, just keep the camera. I think you guys have seen these on his channel. I think he's blew quite a few of these up. Knowing Andy. <laughs> Sorry, photonic conduction. I think we should test this. Uh, now, I'm not destroying these because these are quite old. These are not made anymore. Rating is 500 watts. Oh, yes. Let's get on with it. Uh, I don't want to just plug these straight into the mains and go, yeah, that's a lot of white smoke, and then gone. Because you just never know with raw mail, you don't trust them. You don't know how carefully they're going to handle your parcels. So, let's uh, crank this up very slowly, and it's just, you can just cross, man. No magic smoke. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, beautiful. I think we should uh, crank that up a bit. Oh, that's a really nice glow, that. Let's give it a bit. Oh, look how smooth that Variax running now. I've cleaned it all up. <coughs> so, we're about... Uh, I don't know. 80 volts into that. Ish. So I would register it, but my meters at work. Let's give it a bit more. I'll tell you what, that, that is putting out some serious heat already. Let's give it a bit more. Right, so that's about halfway on the very, so you're looking about 110 volts. And already it's like bloody hell. Well, you wouldn't want that in your living room. But bloody hell, the heat coming off this is ridiculous. Nah. Let's put that back on there so you can actually see how bright it is. There you go. Let's give it a little bit more. I don't want to give this too much. Right, okay. I did give it too much. <laughs> no, I'm sorry guys. Yeah, we did crank it up a little bit too much. Right, that is 240 roughly on the Variac. Obviously my Variac goes up to 270. Damn, that's bright man. Oh, I'm quite impressed with that. Cause that it, it outdoes my fluorescent. <laughs> that very does sound quite nice now. Whoa, man, the heat coming off that. Guys, I'm just going to pause this video and we're going to let this bulb cool down. We'll put the other one in. And then I'm going to explain what exactly we're going to do with these. Okay, so that one cooled down. Oh, ish. Sorry guys, I had to grab it from the, uh, from the neck of it. So we're on to add one or two, and yeah, let's package these really well. I mean, there's the original sleeve inside there, and the original wrap pack, but uh, yeah, it put absolutely tons of bubble wrap in it. So I'm very pleased with that. Well, that's interesting. So we've got a little spatter of solder on there. I wonder if you. Uh, Blew some up while this one was in the vicinity of the man cave. What do you think? Upstairs on the uh, big boy's power supply or the big 20 kilowatt? Is it is it 20 kilowatt that he's got? I wonder if something went pop and threw a bit of solder on this bulb, maybe in storage on the shelf or something. <laughs> you never know. 
<laughs> so let's test this one. Make sure that's yeah, that's all the way down. Ah, oh, this one's got fuses. Yeah. So, uh, I'll have to check on that. I'll have to see if the other one had fuses. It didn't. Right, this, one, this one definitely has. Hmm. Right, let's pray again. No white smoke. You know what? Sometimes it does help if you turn the Varac on. Oh, I love the sound of that contactor. It's a bit overkill. But. No smoke. Excellent. Absolutely perfect. Right, we know for a fact we can take this all the way up to 270 on the Variac. It's humming quite nicely. Well, sorry, the contactor is the Variac. He's making absolutely no noise at all, so I'll shuffle with that. Ooh. Oh, I love that. Right, so now we're roughly at 240. Again, the heat coming off this is stupid. Uh, those of you who are interested, it's a Omega, obviously rated 240 volts, 500 watts, made in Britain. Imagine if I accidentally spat on that bulb now. By mistake, obviously, I wouldn't do it. So I've got plans for this. Let's take it a little bit further than it should. 270. So obviously, that is kicking out more than 500 watts at the minute. Bloody helmet, oh the heat coming off of it. Let's turn that light off. See if we notice something. Yeah, a little bit, a tiny little bit. Obviously the fluorescent is a five footer, so it does shed a bit more light all over the work surface, all over the shed. Let's crank that down a little bit. But that variac is definitely running a lot smoother than it was. I oh know the wiring is not the greatest I've ever done. <laughs> but I just wanted to get that sorted for this video. I'll just spare the moment, guys. I decided let's get it done tonight. Let's get it out there. Oh man, I'm impressed with that. So let it just sit there and glow. It's pulling a few amps, obviously. Oh, yeah, it's knocked it off. There we go. So, yeah. The RCD, there we go. So now the power is all going to the Variac. Brilliant. So, guys, uh, yeah, that's the big reveal. Basically, what I'm doing with these, uh, gonna get myself another transformer that puts out half the voltage that these do. Uh, I'm still trying to figure this one out because really, what I want is a bit like what Andy's got in his living room. I want one of these. On my fire, well, sorry, two of these on my fireplace, each side, and we're going to run, I don't know, probably 40 watts, something like that. It's, I'm, I'm not too sure I'm going to be able to do it, but if not, they're going to be sat there quite nicely. They are going to be in some new bases. Uh, this one is bloody ancient. Oh, I mean ancient. It is, it, well, it's out of a, an old factory work light. So when I was getting hold of it, uh, all that bust, bloody thing dropped, hit the deck, shattered all that. Couldn't find a bit of it, or I was about to try and pull it back together. But you know, as you do, that is still way too hot to touch. Let's go and grab that other bulb. Much better see if the fuse is in it. this now wasn't it yeah it has got the fuse now, if you can see that let me just try and get this phone to focus there you go very nice uh, looks like aluminium is it aluminium wait you're never going to know really until it breaks <laughs> nice little reflector in there to send the light back down but there they are guys they are very nice Obviously, they don't make them anymore. I'm waiting for the day that running one of these becomes bloody illegal or something. <laughs> because I don't care, I'm never getting rid of these. Yeah, obviously, there's your Captain Edison. 
can't remember the actual size of these. I think it was four or five centimetre cap. Uh, oh, that was it, uh, an E40. It's an, it's an E40 cap. I should know that because I replaced the bloody lamps at work. Well, I can find the bloody thing. Where is it? That's typical. I've got a sodium lamp in here and I can't find it. Where's that? Oh, look, I found it. There you go. Obviously the thread corresponds exactly the same. E40s. I think we should put that in a microwave. Should we save that for next time, put that in a microwave? Maybe get some more from work. What are these? 150 watts. Pfft, pants. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that. And obviously when I've finished the little project, Getting these sorted and upstairs on the fireplace. I'll do another little, quick little video on it if I manage to get it done. So be safe, don't kill yourselves. See you later.